Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, not a short TA video, because you all know I'm traveling to Dubai, but I pre recorded this video and I asked a very good friend, Teresa, of the Conscious Crypto event, um, to make a six minute video about leverage trading and what does it mean and she will explain this beautifully um, in this video um, Teresa take it over from here guys watch this video till the end you will learn a lot and at the end I still have an important message that I want to share with you guys so watch till the end enjoy it BAM Hi guys, it's Teresa here from Conscious Crypto Traders. Didi asked me to make this quick video for you because there is an advanced concept, specifically how to choose your leverage appropriately, that he and I are both seeing a lot of traders are missing. So I'm gonna walk you through some math. Let me show you some slides so that you can really get this one nailed. So the concept is why increasing your leverage actually makes you less money. My alternate title for this is why experienced traders lower their leverage. So here's a couple of mindset assumptions I want you to check because these are actually false assumptions. I'm going to walk you through the math to show you why. The first assumption is that higher leverage makes you more money. The second assumption is because the exchange reports higher profit when I increase the leverage, therefore I must be making more money. Now, both of these are actually false assumptions. I'm going to walk you through the math of two individual trades so you can understand what I'm talking about. I call this a tale of two trades. The basic assumptions are we're looking at Bitcoin at $50,000 US, two trades each identical at $10,000, funding fees at half a percent. This is just an average rate I took every eight hours because that makes it super easy to do the math and super easy for you to check my math. We're also going to assume the trades open for 24 hours, so you're going to experience these funding fees three times. So we're looking at two different trades then. One is a 40x leverage trade, the other is a 2x leverage trade. So I use these extreme examples so it's easier for you to see this difference. So here's our base assumptions, Bitcoin at 50,000, your account has $10,000 in it, you're risking 2.5% of your account, which is a common amount that seasoned traders use in terms of what they would risk on every trade. And the size of each trade is going to be $10,000. So you'll notice that the entry points on these trades, the size of the trade, and the amount that you're risking is identical in both these cases up until this point. In the first case, though, with the 40x leverage trade, your margin is going to be $250. In the second trade, your margin is going to be $5,000. In the case of this first trade, you're actually using the liquidation price on your trade as your stop loss. In the second case, you would be putting in a 5% stop loss. So in both cases, this 5% stop loss and this liquidation price will be at the identical place in the market because in each case, you're taking a $250 risk with this trade. It's just your trade setup is different. In this case, it's a 40x leverage trade with the liquidation price as your stop loss. In this case, it's a 2x leverage trade and you're using a 5% stop loss to give you the same level of risk. So let's say the price moves $5,000. You would make $1,000 on each of this trade. That's super easy math. Same amount of money, same amount of risk up to this point. Now here's the first difference. The exchange is going to report this profit as 400% profit because the exchange is reporting your profit relative to the margin that you risked. So they're going to report that $1,000 relative to the 250 margin that you risked is a 400% profit. Again, this trade, the exchange is going to report as a 20% profit because they're reporting your profit relative to your margin and $1,000 profit relative to a $5,000 margin is a 20% profit. The exchange is not taking into account that you really only risk $250 because of your stop loss. So notice that it's the same amount of money, but reported very, very differently in terms of what the exchange is telling you your profit level is. In this case, your funding fees would have been $1,464. In this case, your funding fees would have been $750. So your actual profit in this case, relative to the actual amount of money you risked, 
would be 294% in the 40X leverage trade and 3% higher in the 2X leverage trade. This example gets really exacerbated if you're holding your trades open for longer than a day. So let's say you held this trade open for two weeks. So again, everything being the same as in the earlier example, but now over the space of two weeks, you would have paid $205 in funding fees on the first trade and $105 in funding fees on the second trade. That's almost a 10% difference in the amount of money you would have made on the low leverage trade. In other words, this low leverage trade would have made you 10% more than the high leverage trade if you were keeping this trade open for two weeks. So your actual profit in this case is $100 difference on this small trade. This is a really important advanced concept to understand because a lot of people tend to default toward the higher leverage thinking if they can just get it out and trade with higher leverage, they'll make more money. No, seasoned traders are telling you to lower your leverage because lower leverage makes you more money. We are super excited that Didi is speaking at our upcoming Conscious Crypto event. This event is a fundraiser. It's helping to pave roads here in our community in Costa Rica. More importantly, this event was created for you guys who really want to dive in to some of the more advanced concepts of crypto investing and crypto trading. We're going to be dealing with a lot of the really deep advanced concepts you need to not only make more crypto, but to hold on to it and not have the tax man take it all. So there's still time to get your tickets. We know you've lost more than this on individual trades. So the link is down below. Invest in yourself. I promise you will make more money back on what you learn as a trader than you've ever paid for this tuition. We look forward to seeing you at the event. Thank you, Teresa, for doing this and giving this beautiful education to my family members. And I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want more knowledge like this one over here, then please make sure you sign up by clicking the link down below this video. You will receive a lot of knowledge from MM Crypto, Da Vinci 15, Crypto Wendy, the blockchain uh, today from me, myself and I, the executive alchemist, all of these people will be talking about crypto, a digital asset news, Rob, also really cool. Um, you can still book a ticket, click the link down below and you will see um, what you will get for a beautiful prize, I think, in my opinion. Guys, bam, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Always remember, there is no better investment than an investment in yourself. If you invest in yourself and gathering knowledge on how to trade safely, that is the best investment you can ever make. So if I were you, I would definitely sign up and join us at this beautiful event. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Teresa. A big shout out to the Conscious Crypto event and see you later again, guys. Bam.